Tiffany, get get closer. And well, I don't know where Katie's gonna go. I'm, going I'm actually Katie's. sitting here. I just want to. Hi guys, we're live. Hello <laughs> and welcome. We're just not. Swishing full. <clears throat> we're not fully ready yet, so uh, just chill with Bear us for with a sec us. while we get up and running. Have to be like this Are we recording on this? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think <laughs> that you have to talk into your microphone. Did you start? Uh, well, well, I'm mean for the podcast. Oops, did you, oops, oops. Nope. Go yeah. away. Force quit. Uh, did you start GarageBand? Yes, it's going. Cool. Oh, good. Wait, go back. Awesome. Go back. Hello, Hannah, Anne Marie, and Teal. Yeah. Sup? I'm trying to figure out how to go live on YouTube because I told I people like, that we would do this and I don't know how to. This so. really looks like the Petrus Hour with Megan and Katie here and then like half of <laughs> Tiffany and half Sorry. of me. Oh, look, we're in red, we're Tiffany. Here, what yep. Wait, no, hold on. I'm going to try some apples. How do I go live? I'll and we've fly. lost Katie. All changes saved. Now you can see all of me. Go live. I can see go. all of me. Um, Stream options. No, 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 no. You want no, no. it Go high back. so that you can yeah, see yeah, yeah. our new how do you, banner. How do you guys like our banner? Where are people's comments? We can't they're, see them because no, they're... No, you can't. They're over I mean, here. I know we can, but right now we can't because she has that other screen up. Guys, I might not be able to do YouTube because... That's all right. I... We don't really know how to do live because we've never done live on... We'll do it live! <laughs> on um, YouTube before, which is fine. Stream now. You'll just have to love us on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah. It says offline. Did, did Streamed you, live four minutes ago. I know, but what does that mean? I don't know. It means that four minutes ago you were streaming live. Live chat. Go live right there. To I, see know, it. I know I did that. <laughs> I don't know what I said. To start streaming. Oh, start your encoder. Nah. What? We, have to, we should have. <laughs> guys, <laughs> we're very unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, everybody. Whoa, we, um, we'll just be on. We'll just we're be just going to do Facebook. I'm going to. Make that big so I can. Ooh, Anne Marie's got a glass of wine ready. I can't oh, read that. So, so do you I. Guys are gonna have to I'll, I'll look at it. Ooh, someone has hot chocolate. I can't Ooh, drink Anna hot chocolate, that. unfortunately. I'm like, um, going to be like this the whole time. <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. Yeah, the encode. I don't know what that means. I have to do more research. So unfortunately, the next one we can do the next live stream. Yeah, maybe I'll try and figure it out for the um for the movie commentary. <laughs> I'm gonna get really <laughs> personal with you today. That's <laughs> I don't really we we um, don't really like each other. So I'm gonna it's all a facade. It. Each other. I'm gonna try I, and open it on my phone too, so that I can see your guys. We can. It's guys really tiny. I can't read it. I have my glasses on and I can't read that. Okay. What are you talking? They're saying hello. Comments. Thank you for loving our banner. Yes. I um I got it for the girls for Christmas. No, Santa no. got it. Santa got it. Why do you <laughs> gotta like? Take I it? am Santa. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. Um, I'm actually not gonna open this one. I'm gonna. I have this open. Do you need <laughs> my computer closer? Can you open the live stream on your computer and I'll open the previous questions on my phone? And then we can go. Oh, I get you what you're saying. I mean? yes, yes, Elizabeth yes. says, does caps help? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, actually it does. If you would type in caps, I can actually read that. Just shout at us the entire time. I, right. I can't read what your names, doing? but I can read the caps. Oh, look, guys. I have an event today at 1 o'clock, even though it's not really at 1. <laughs> okay. I... Oh, oh, hold no, on. Not going to work. <laughs> All right. I muted it. All right. Okay. Am okay. I reading their questions from here, too? No one's asked anything yet, so okay, you can no, ask us questions just, on here. Fire away! Pulling up, I'm pulling up our previous. Post well, post. let's talk about what we're doing today. So these girls are here at my house. Oh, People say that they like names to faces. Oh, I'm so Sarah. Sh- That's out of order. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you know what? I do life out of order. I'm Katie. Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. And just to clear up a few things, these two are married. <laughs> These middles. Yeah. These are the Petruses. These are the O'Malley's. Not married. She's married to my brother. <laughs> some people, I guess some people have get, been getting mine and Sarah's voices mixed up. Um, or the fact that I'm secretly in love with Katie. She is not married to her. <laughs> she is married to me. We think it's hilarious. I won't mind. My head yeah, is very funny. warm under this yeah. hand. Um, yeah, I'm the only <laughs> single one, so I'll just be by myself. How? Wait, I, re- I can see how... Did you get, get the idea to do this podcast? Okay, thanks. I can't. Read. Um, so it started off with oh, I've, I wanted to do a podcast for a really long time. Hi, Tiffany's sister. 
what up, Ashley? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I said to Tiffany the one day, this is like back in April or May, before her birthday, Megan's birthday's in May, yeah. um, that I wanted, I asked her a question about the last book, I think it was, and it spiraled into us doing, um, she wanted to finish, she was le- reading the seventh book, so she wanted to finish that, we were going to do a book, like a reread together, and then like have a book discussion, and then for <laughs> Megan's birthday, Megan, Katie, <laughs> and myself, and their roommate, Rutten, went to dinner, and the entire, I would say we were there for maybe two, two and a half hours. The entire two and a half hours was us talking about Harry Potter. And our um, our roommate, shout out to Rutz. I, he's definitely not watching. Yeah, because he does not. Like, in the nicest way possible, doesn't care. Like, which is he fine. He just, like, yeah. doesn't care about Harry Potter. He supports so I, us. I felt great. so bad, but, like, didn't feel bad at yeah. all. Because, like, literally, yeah, we talked yeah. about Harry Potter the entire time. Yeah. So it and turned- I was like, you know what? It's my birthday dinner. I do yeah. what I want. <laughs> so it turned into us deciding, like, we were going to have, so a that was club. in May. Yeah. It so, started with the idea of doing a book club with yes. the four of us. So we, we met up June 20th. Was that the date or 26th? Whatever the day the first book came out 20 years ago. Right. And so we all went to Megan or to Katie's, or we went to <laughs> Tiffany's house and we had a Christmas, like, not a Christmas, we had a Harry Potter feast. So we all brought food. Clearly Tiffany, we like Tiffany's to husband made food. food. I don't cook, guys. Yep. I made punch. Good job. That's true. Yeah, and you made that really good dessert. Oh yeah, I um, that. and so <laughs> thank then, you, snack packs. <laughs> <laughs> so then after that, like we sat and we talked. This is, clearly, y'all know how much we can talk. We talked about the first book for maybe two hours. Yep. Yeah, and we were gonna we read the first two books, like reread them, and then we were gonna start discussing both of them that night. <laughs> and then I was like, God, we should just start a podcast because I'd wanted to do one for a long time. And then, like, literally by the end of the night, we had everything planned. She was texting her friends. Um, as Shout out to like Second about, Breakfast. Yes. They'll be here soon. Yeah. Um, so she t- she contacted them, and by July 31st, we had our first episode up. So within yeah. a month. But really, it was just as simple as Sarah saying, we, we should, should do, do a podcast. podcast. And we were all like, yeah. yeah. And Megan's yeah. like, I have a really good name for it. We were like, I thought it was it Katie's was Katie. idea. Oh, yeah. it was Katie. It was my idea. I oh, said my. it. I said it. <laughs> I thought you said but it. it. Was, it was Katie's idea because we had talked about doing a YouTube channel, me and Katie, yeah, because blog, we go down to Universal all the time. So we were like, well, maybe people would like if we vlogged going to um, the Wizarding World. Um, because I have a really, I have a good friend who does like a daily vlog about Disney. So I was like, well, we should do one about Universal. Like, that mm-hmm. would be cool. Um, because we don't talk about it enough. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so we had come up with the name Swish and Flick for like a blog or a vlog or something. Like we weren't sure what we were going to use it for, but we liked it. So, and honestly, because I know somebody had asked the question um, previously. I don't know if it was just like a random question on our Facebook page or if it was for this Q&A, but someone said, <laughs> how how long did it take for you guys to come up with the name Swish and Flick? Like literally that was the first name. Nano second. Two yeah. seconds. <laughs> so. I don't even remember any of the other ideas that were thrown out. I don't I, think there were any. I, don't I had, know if we really had I did come I up think with there the Maraudettes. Was a, yeah. That's right, the Maraudettes. Yeah, yeah. I don't then, even remember that. Since yeah. we were all a different house, I was like, well, maybe like the four founders or like something oh, like that's that. Right, yeah. that's right. But none of them felt as good as... Yeah. So yeah. Like, yeah. And that's how we were born. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we came from. It is. <laughs> Um, okay, so a question oh, from what I just like Sarah likes to talk but doesn't know who Harry Potter is. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I do like to talk um, with your hands, especially. Oh, I, I like this, I like this question. Anne Marie asked, Do any of you share your birthdays with a Harry Potter event or character? I share mine with Arthur Weasley. I Maybe have really? no idea. I didn't know that. No, 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 no. she does. Anne Marie does. <laughs> oh, I was like, Oh, <laughs> oh cool. <laughs> I don't think that I do. I don't think I, I do. Either. I don't think I do. Sad. Well, I will say that you know we... what though, guys. The birth of our podcast is on Harry Potter's birthday. No, it's not. Well, no, well, no. that's when the first episode came. The out. The first yeah. episode came out on his birthday, and the first inception of the idea came out 20, on the day the, that the first Sorcerer came out. Stone yeah. came out. Yeah, yeah. Philosopher's but Stone at that point because it was Tiff- the... yeah. Tiffany and I share yeah. a birth month with the Weasley twins, Ooh. aka the best month. We're getting rowdy. Yep. April. You fools in April. <laughs> Um, okay, Are these from see. the original post? Yes. Okay. What is okay? Here's a question from Jake. What's the best Christmas gift for an intense, die-hard Potterhead, specifically a Slytherin? Ooh. You know what you know I really what? like? Well, you can oh, go, ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. I didn't I realize was you say two that Slytherin. Did you? Oh, no, like that? I just really. Ah! They they all have an. I got for Christmas this year, but I'm not supposed to know about it. Better um, hope someone's not watching. The wizard, like from uh, Universal. Universal, they have those spot shirts that have like the name across them. And then the 
They and it has a crust, crust and they have a crust oh, on the sh- on, yeah you can't see those are that's literally my favorite thing i've ever bought uh, yeah. in universal i can't yeah. wait to wear it yeah i love um, i will wear it christmas day and i actually have a gryffindor one and oh. a slytherin one because when i went down one time they only made gryffindor and i was like well i really love this sweater so i'm gonna <laughs> buy it <laughs> well you know my obsession with crew neck sweatshirts anyway so i'm so excited what about yeah. the um the addition in like the slytherin house colors do they come out with that Right. What do you mean? I think the, they just the have the books, first book. The the books and the <laughs> oh, like Sorry. the house edition. Books? Yeah, I do like those. Yeah, it's um, it's only through Bloomsbury, so you kind of have to mm-hmm. like order it overseas if you're from America. But there's this really awesome um, website that I found <laughs> that like has free shipping, and it's mm-hmm. only like fifteen bucks, and it's called Book Depository. Uh, Look it up. Nice. Order some books. It's good. I was gonna say if like for a diehard Potter fan, like I mean for us even, you could get me the tiniest mm, little anything. pot or anything and i would be stoked or yeah like an ornament like I, yeah. yeah people love getting hallmark makes really good potter ornaments I've yeah been... they this year they yeah. have a gringotts one it's mm-hmm. gorgeous i have no harry potter ornament you should go get the gringotts one it's so she doesn't awesome. know i feel like harry someone potter should buy me awesome. one because i don't want to buy my own ornament my hold on i don't want to buy my own ornament <laughs> I buy my my whole tree. I buy my tree. Spoiler, your present upstairs is not an ornament. (laughs) Spoiler, yours is. (laughs) Okay, next question is from Hannah. She wants to know how did we all meet each other? Can I just, I was thinking about this because I read this answer. (laughs) No, I was thinking about this that like, besides Harry Potter, the reason we all know each other is because of me. Because I became, Megan and I met our freshman year of high school going to New York. And then clearly Katie met Megan first and then she met me. And then we, like the three of us have been friends since we, I met you at the end of sophomore year. Mm-hmm. Um, and Megan and I, we met each other freshman year, but we really bonded when we took French together. Yeah. Our junior, se- sophomore, sophomore year. year. Um, we were the because only sophomores in, in the Spanish freshman class. for two weeks and I was failing. Well, I was in, <laughs> so I took I Spanish. So I them yeah. to transfer me to- I took Spanish my freshman year because everyone told me to and I really wanted to take French Um, but it was just meant to be because then we became like really good friends Mm -hmm. we actually had our French teacher translate um, I believe you have my stapler in French (laughs) and then put that on our AIM profile throwback shout out to office space yeah and then um, (laughs) Tiffany's married to my brother so that's how I met her and actually that's how I mean that's how we all really bonded like Tiffany will tell you like when she first met me she thought I was like not nice um which is a nice way of saying it. <laughs> oh, this she acts like she didn't like me. I'm just, when you she first has see... a resting Oh, face. yeah. Like, <laughs> this is a good point. Anne-Marie said, being a Brit, I have no idea what sophomore means. Oh, just like our oh. second year in high school. <laughs> our, yeah, our second year of high um, school. It's So it's year 10, Yeah, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, know if yeah. you... Yeah, so year 10. I don't know how that works. Yeah. Um, but so that's how, like, Tiffany and I... Actually, looking back at, like, the recent, like, on... Um, that one app time hop or whatever mm-hmm. like they were probably dating for a year and then we became really good friends we're like we started hanging out without yeah. my brother being around and that's still how it is now he probably gets annoyed when he's like oh god sarah's coming over again like I have to hang out with my sister <laughs> because i didn't live um uh up here yeah. yet like yeah. i lived about an hour and a half yeah. away for about the first almost year yeah. Almost. Well, there. and he was probably glad though, because then like I would take like we went to the, all the midnight showings together. So he's probably like, Thank God I don't have to go. Yeah. He he's watched all the movies, but he's like He doesn't hate him, but he's not like us. I feel <laughs> yeah. like that's kind of like our roommate Chris. Like, yeah. well, we've made him watch all the movies yeah. because we live together and me and Katie watch them, so all the yeah. time he has to watch them. Um Should wait, we pull this... any new questions if there's new ones and like kind of go back and forth? Because yeah, if they're like here, they want to hear their question. Wait, wait. This kind of ties in with an old question too. Yeah. Me and Meg met in on high Halloween, school, but we met mm-hmm. on Halloween, so that kind of that's a big date. In I guess that's yeah. a big date in Harry and Potter. I will say, I think that's a good date because my parents, who've been married for almost thirty-five years or thirty-five, either thirty-four mm-hmm. or thirty-five mar- years, they've been married. They also met on Halloween night, so it's a good anniversary. To we have. also yeah. got married on October seventh, and that was on. <laughs> Oh, I just burped. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that was on purpose. And we uh, we got married on a Friday because it was the 7th. You got married on purpose. That's a good thing. <laughs> it was on purpose. As opposed to being an accident. <laughs> like um, me. No, I'm just kidding. So, yeah, me and, Katie, uh, me and Katie met on Halloween of sophomore year or year 10. Um, and 
started dating in March of sophomore year mm-hmm. and have been together since then. So actually yeah. this March, this coming March will be our 12 year anniversary. Where's the bell? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, get me a this, bell. That's so crazy. Like, it makes me feel so old when I think like how long we've been friends. That means that's that we've crazy. been really good friends for twelve years. I mean, we've been a little bit longer because we met like we did. Meet we we year. were friends. We met freshman year, and then we became really good friends. Like we immediately because we were the only um, older girls in our French class. So we're, like we gravitated to because we were in French one <laughs> in our second year of high school. So it was all of the yeah. freshmen or year yeah. nine, and then us. And, um, and then, to- and then, just to throw this in there, me and Katie met Tiffany obviously through Sarah yeah. because yeah. Um, we married my brother. <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember that girl that asked us? Or it might have been more than one because, like, so we were the only year ten sophomores in our in that class, and so we would gravitate to her. We'd sit with each other. We would always talk and everything. And I'd known her like we knew each other from the year before. And someone goes, "Are you guys like best friends?" We looked at each other. We're like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> Because we really weren't super, super good friends. I mean, we're friends, and then right. but it was just like, oh, we have French together, and I hang like, out with you. It wasn't we, like we would hang out outside of school really until yeah. later in the year. I would even think that like we weren't best friends, like really good friends until co- after college. Because like you left to Kent, I went to Toledo. We got in a huge fight, and then we saw each other <laughs> later on. Um, drama. Yeah, drama. you know, girls drama, and then I got um, mad at her for good reason. I mean, but no. I, well, that's, 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 that's we're not, not going to get into that. Yeah. Because it, but then, like, because you went down for your first Disney thing. Um, My Disney college. Program. Yeah, and she left, and I came. I think when you came home, I went, sorry, because I think your grandma died. Sorry. My grandma died during my first Yeah, program. so I came to see you when, like, that happened. And then after I had that, actually, when we really I'd became, come like, home to, to visit like two weekends before that happened yeah. and then I had to fly back home yeah. again for her funeral. Yeah, I remember I came to see you then and then after you like finally came home because I would go out to Ken all the time um, and then fun fact, when they both left to go to Florida, crying the little eyeballs out. I was like, but then she came, she came to visit us for, for like, like two, two weeks. weeks. No, so, was awesome. it was they were probably was so like, fun. can you no. get out? <laughs> we should probably move on to the next question. Wait, yeah, do we sorry. Wanna, I know we don't have as many live questions, but do we want to kind of bounce it back? Yeah, but I don't bit? know if there's... I'm trying to see if there's any. Because I did ask question some from there. Somebody... We did oh, ask, look, we did Chris some. joined. I said that you probably weren't going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> she was hey. talking crap. <laughs> and, um, and Elizabeth asked if we made a post of tattoos. We did, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. It's, it's probably, it's, it's, um, one of them. it's been a while, though. So. I'd show you mine, but it'd be inappropriate. Wait, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't <laughs> I can't show you. How can show this? It's, like, awkward. Is that good? Yeah. Mine's, so shout out to mine tattoos. Is, over here. Yeah, mine. Yeah. I have a second one here as well. It's um, like where your bra strap goes, but I like this it. question. Anne Marie, Anne Marie, you had a lot of good questions. What wizarding job would you want to have? Ooh. I think actually we may have talked about this in an episode, but my I answer changes that. probably. I don't on remember basis, what I said. So. Probably a well, I'm a teacher in real life, <laughs> so would probably a professor? professor. I think I would want to be a professor. Yeah. I would want to be cool enough to be an aura, but I think I'd be a magizoologist. Yeah, Ooh, no, definitely one, you would yeah. be. Um, yeah. I think I'd be like charms professor or something. Oh, I, I like charms. That. I would still be a graphic designer, but I'd get to move. I get to work with moving pictures. Oh, that'd be so. Oh, there that you go. Sweet. That'd be so cool. You could like design the signs for Diagon Alley. Exactly. You know what? <laughs> I would like to be like Madame Pomfrey, like working in the school, being like, "What the hell did you do this time?" Like <laughs> Ron coming in with his swollen hand. Oh, I got bit by dog. Sure. She's like going like. Yeah, okay, what I'm sure you did. Mm-hmm. Tiffany, I like that you said charms because you would be teaching swish and flick. <laughs> You're right. Well, Wingardium love you also. Well, you know, you know. It's it's all the same. What else do we oh, got going on? Silence. Does anybody uh that looks to seem seems if the comments have stopped on the big screen. Have they are they different on your computer? Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. Shoot um, us some live questions, the yeah, twenty nine friends guys. who are chatting it up with us. Uh, let's see if, okay. Hannah wants to know it, what we think about this. If a professor goes to talk to the parents or guardians of Muggleborn, which witches and wizards, why did they just send letters to Harry? They knew he wasn't getting them. Did they not know something was up? I think about that all the time. So, it's a really wait, valid question. Wait, what? So if like a professor or Dumbledore goes and talks to the parents of Muggleborns, why didn't somebody just go to the Dursleys? Plot hole. 
I think mm-hmm. she would. I, think <laughs> I don't know. Joe would probably get around it by being like, "Well, they already knew about the Wizarding World, so it wasn't like completely." I guess that's true. Yeah, I and mean, they like, and they ended up sending Hagrid. That's yeah. true. Eventually, it just took a long time. What was Dumbledore doing that he couldn't have gotten Harry himself? <laughs> being Dumbledore. <laughs> Why are you giggling? Because I would. If we weren't filming, I would have done something. But it's all right. She's so inappropriate. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Oh, really, I, really I got you. <laughs> But I agree with that. Like, what? Yeah. I feel like they should have done. I mean. Maybe they were trying to give Petunia a chance not to be a you-know-what. Okay, but has she ever proven (laughs) that? No. Lacey has a good question. Okay. Which Harry Potter characters can you do the best impressions of? And please give examples. Filch. I love that you (laughs) I don't know if I can. Hold on. She said, I love that you all do Ollivander so well because he's my favorite to impersonate. In person, we all do this terrible, terrible, terrible. Yes. Yes. but great. great. <laughs> I yeah, can do, me do filch. Oh, okay, hold on. I, can, like do, I can do the lady from Monsters Inc. <laughs> Roz, <laughs> we're That's talking about it. I know. <laughs> oh, we are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <they're nice. laughs> what is Sarah, Snape? What is Snape? Snape? What is it? What does he say? There'll I'm, be no foolish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, get her in the mood. There will be no foolish wand waving or incantations in this class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's better when I have like a cape to swirl around, which she, does. which has she happened. Really done. Well, it's a green blanket. <laughs> no, I have a cape, but it's well, I don't. My sister does. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got any? Else? I will um, say. Okay, Sadie, go ahead. Sadie wants to know how. Well, I she like her name. Katie I like that Sarah, name, Sadie. But it is Katie and Megan. How did Katie and Megan meet and get engaged? We got engaged three times. Well, yeah, it's because we each have our own story. Three times. <laughs> and then I got mad at her because she chickened out on an engagement like in Disney or the Wizarding World. So she did it again. <laughs> She's high maintenance. That's my wife. <laughs> um, but it was so sweet. So the first, so Katie proposed first and I actually like had a ring and was planning on doing it. This was right before we moved down to Florida. Hold on. Do you want to tell them why you got a ring? Well, because I knew she got me one. <laughs> she called me up. She's like, she spent a lot of money at this jewelry store. I think she bought me a ring. <laughs> I remember I this. I remember like, this story because Sarah told me I about like, it. I don't know. She didn't tell me I anything. I was like, why'd she look? <laughs> I would have done the you. same thing. <laughs> Katie, yeah. I'm with Sarah you. I like to it. be surprised. So, um, so I knew Katie who got the ring. <laughs> so I went and I bought a ring. And I was planning on doing it when we were down in um, Disney for a day. And when so we were moving there. We were moving down there. Uh, so Katie... I had gotten bit, this is really weird and random, but I had gotten bit by a ton of mosquitoes this one day. So I was just like (laughs) really itchy everywhere. And I'm like kind of allergic to mosquitoes. So like my mosquito bites, like they like get huge and like I get sick from it. So um, we couldn't find the hydrocortisone cream anywhere. So we were like going to go buy some. So Katie all of a sudden calls down to me from our room upstairs and she's like, Meg, come up here. I I found something that, that, what it's gonna make say? our day a lot. It's better. gonna make our day a lot better. And I was like, "You found the hydrocortisone cream." <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, uh, no, just come up here." So I go upstairs, and she's in the doorway. And then she proposed in the doorway of our room at my parents' house. Mosquito bites have never cry? been so romantic, right? No. Oh, I feel like I'm I, gonna cry just listening to it. I didn't cry when I got um, engaged either. I was too jacked up. I was like, yes! I know. And then, <laughs> right so away. then we moved down to Florida and we were riding Space Mountain and I held up a little sign for the Space Mountain picture that said, Katie, will you marry me? And then, so because I had been like, I seriously thought our really entire bad. relationship, I had said like castle proposal, castle proposal, oh, Disney mm-hmm. World, I have Universal, my reasons, but, you Hogwarts, know. blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, she felt bad. So then actually just a couple months before our wedding, we were down in Florida and she took a time turner and took my hand and put a time turner around our hands and turned it and said, I want to go back in time. I literally no! just, I've never heard this story. <laughs> and she had me walk backwards and like close my eyes and she took me to the little bridge in front of the castle and then proposed in front of Hogwarts Castle again. I literally might be crying. <laughs> She's literally like, Sarah's literally crying. That's Katie. Katie, you proposed to me. <laughs> See, so I had a silly proposal, but it was it was because the real, you know, a better thing was coming. Uh huh. Oh my god. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah will so, be yeah. fine. <laughs> this one girl asked. Hold on, I have to go back to it. 
Yeah, this um, this is not up Sarah, there. Sarah, shout out to this your name, not. said if oh, there were oh, to be an eighth sure. Harry Potter book covering any portion of the Harry Potter universe, what would you like it to cover? And it says, this is ignoring Cursed Child. Like, we also like to do. Well, some of us like to ignore it. Well, yeah, it's fine. I just, if you I like it, that's fine. We respect your I opinion. Don't, wait, listen, I don't love it. I just think that I mean, we it's can't there. disregard it. So, I'll agree with that. I'm not yeah. saying that I love it. I don't like the whole time turner idea. I don't like it. Doesn't make sense to me. Can, can we go back to the question? Yes. What was the, the question of, again? What the, the question first is part? if like if there was an eighth book, okay, not cursed child. What would you want it to be? Essentially, I would want it to be about Marauders. The kids. I'd want. It to I be just want Marauders. Marauders. Yeah. Marauders. Was, but okay, here's anything. The thing. What are we going, going like in like if it was sequence a book of story? Sequential story. Yeah. Then yes, I would. Oh want yeah. It. But about, if it was just like another book, or, or, or about the trios, their their lives, yeah, in the ministry. I want to know what happened in nineteen years. So like, yeah, how did yeah. I want to know about cast? No, I want I want like, can we pick up directly after battle? I want to yeah. know how it got cleaned up. Who yeah. was there? That would be what awesome. Kingsley was up to as minister? All that jazz. That's what I want to know. And all that jazz. <laughs> so. What else do we got on the let's 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 do take a, a couple more from there. Ooh, I don't know if, if you there could visit any, any professor past past through the Pensieve, who who would it be? Remus Snape. Lupin. I don't know why I just said Snape. I hate him. Remus. <laughs> no, no, you can't, can't change I'm your answer. I'm changing my answer no. whether you tell me I can't. Yeah, or but not. you know what? You could ask him. You could just be like, why? They would I, I think that would be true. a really interesting conversation. I'd be like, what? The like heck just why is your problem? <laughs> First of all, who do you, you think you are? <laughs> who peed in your Wheaties? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know we learned a little bit more about McGonagall in like the small ebooks that were written, but I want to know more of her story because she is amazing. Yeah. I'd like Gilderoy Rock. Lockhart, I Rock hard. Do you want to go talk to him before he like ruined his mind? <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, do you want to? I would love to hear all of the stories about how he got everybody else's story yeah, yeah, and then yes. wipe their memories yeah. um let's shout that out to an interesting book series that'd be yeah, amazing that would be good we're gonna yeah. talk about becca yes <laughs> so, what becca elizabeth i started watching this and forgot it was boiling water for tea and then my fire alarm went off <laughs> <laughs> sounds like, it sounds like something i would have done <laughs> Ooh, so jeremy has good. a really good question he just posted it if you could be part of the wizard world but couldn't be human what would you want to be Ooh. a niffler <laughs> Uh, if it's non-magical Ooh. creature, like a cat, because I love cats. I'd want to be the black squid and the snake. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> the black squid. The black squid. In the, the lake. lake. <laughs> Not a snake. <laughs> um, I, wait, <laughs> magical or non-magical? Oh, yeah. It, it? it didn't say. Uh, I'm just not human. I would be a hippogriff. Ooh. Yeah, you would. Oh, that's good. I would be flying because everywhere. Because would fly, and that would be really fun. I'd be a phoenix. Oh, I want to be a... come back to life forever. I want to be a thestral <laughs> because you'd be invisible to a lot of people, and that could be kind of fun. Yeah, but then people who see you are sad. <laughs> yeah. But they don't maybe know why they're seeing you. You like raw meat? I yes. do. She <laughs> and Luna can hang out. God. Um, Nikki I... asked a good question. Do you have another one? No, I was just going to say, Emma Rose goes McGonagall Nikki, is a boss what, what's the last name on that? Mm-hmm. Aikman? Aikman. I went to school with her. Hey, Nikki. Would you recast any actors? If so, who and why? Ooh. I don't think I would. I no. I will say this. Looking back, thinking of, they, they casted, like, Snape and Sirius and Remus as really, like, they're, too old. they're not the age. I would not change it. Like, even though no, Alan like, Rickman, I mean, all of them are a lot older. Nobody else can play Snape. No. That's none also of them. why, like, I don't think that they should ever make they're gonna the Cursed Child movie. Because, oh, I don't know. Because you, you would have can't to have Snape, have Snape yeah. not be Alan Rickman. But I don't know. I, I'm and, telling you. In in looking at like the industry now, like of Hollywood and like making oh, the movies, oh, they'll redo the movies. Yeah, and so R.I.P. to Alan Rickman, but they're gonna recast him because I know he's no longer with. Do us. you think they'll go with someone that's literally the age that they're supposed to be? Um, I don't know. Or do I you think, think they'll I, just go with well, actor? I wonder you know? if they're gonna if if they have ro- like J.K. Rowling with rolling. Sorry, guys. They see me rolling. Um, if they have her helping them, which. Anybody thinking of remaking these movies, I think you should because it's her. Well, world. she would have to. I don't think she, she would. Ha- she would have to. You know what? I agree for with them you. not to. Like because I just her. you know 
I mean, if you think about the control that she has over mm-hmm. the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Orlando mm-hmm. and Hollywood and Tokyo and like everywhere that it's at, she, I mean, like literally she yeah. has to approve every well, single yeah. thing down to the fact that they didn't have Christmas decorations until this year because it finally got approved through her. Yeah. Talk and it's going to be so awesome. And talking Next about- weekend, guys, we'll be, we'll be live. Not, not, not all of us. Not at all. <laughs> Just these two. You know what? Sarah and I are going to get together and we're just going to shenanigan it out for you. <laughs> well, we're also doing that in January, too. You're not yeah, wrong. because we're going again because we're yeah, crazy. Um, but again. even talking about, like, Fantastic Beasts, when people are like, well, the director said that Newt Scamander is not the main character. And then J.K. Rowling's like, no, he is. Like, I mean, if I'm going to listen to anyone, I'm going to listen to J.K. Rowling because she's the queen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Anything that she says is golden talking about Harry Potter. Essentially. I don't think I would recast anyone. I don't. I can't. I, I can't think of anybody. I wouldn't like take the original films and recast anybody. But if we were casting for a new one, I would make the Marauders younger. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. really the only major thing. Yes, I agree. But at the same time, like I like them all as oh, who they Gary played. Oldman, David Thewlis, Severus. Yeah. yeah, they were. No, they were all perfect. <laughs> I like that you name everybody. And they're like Severus. <laughs> um. Earlier in the live stream, somebody asked if our mics were for our houses, and yes, they are. Just- oh, the girl Emma Rose said the guy who played Kylo Ren um, in Star Wars could play young Snape. And then Adam, Adam Driver, I who's also on that. Girls. Yeah, I'll get on board with that. Yeah, I like him. I do. He makes me really, not that it, clearly I like to Star Wars. To be honest, when I saw Star Wars the first time, I was like, holy crap, that's Snape. <laughs> like, he is a Snape. That's he, the first I thing know. I saw I, when I saw him on the screen. He's I was like, like, he looks like yeah. a young Snape. I thought he's he looked like, like Kylo Ren. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're like a huge um, Star Wars fan, and I just kind of like casually watch who, them, so I think of these random things like, oh, you could be Who's Harry Kylo Potter. Ren? What is Star <laughs> Wars? What is Star I'm gonna Wars? I'm going to go take a Star Wars. You want to go see a Star Wars? <laughs> Can we just say that I'm so excited it's coming out in less than two weeks, 13? <laughs> I mean, 13 days to be exact. We're going. We have tickets for the Let's data. Let's go to the next question. Yeah. Stop talking about Star Wars. <laughs> because it's already almost one o'clock. Uh, yeah, a little bit after this. Yeah, you're. We you're late. Yeah, That's we did. Start Ooh, late. One girl said she would recast Slughorn. Oh, really? I oh, like do you have an idea of who who asked that? Well, he's kind of described as like a bigger guy, and I think he could have been like more. Uh, Kristen said that. Can you tell us who you would cast? Yeah, we want to know. Anybody? Ooh, Jennifer Lopez. Hey, girl. <laughs> She's so excited. I love your music. <laughs> she says, J-Lo. I'm sure she is. Could be your she's sister. not the I'm first sure. time she's heard that. I'm sure that's an old joke. We I'm once sorry. had a Beyonce Knowles come to the hair school that I was at. Really? I mean, it was like in the like evening, so I wasn't going to be there. But I was like, Beyonce Knowles is going to be here. <laughs> what is your excited. absolute favorite thing about the fandom, and what would you like to be different in the movies? Uh, favorite thing about the fandom is the community mm-hmm. that we have. Yeah, like I remember whenever I was younger and we would go see the movies at midnight, like that community that was felt in the theater and like how people would dress up and um, like everybody was just so nice to everybody. Yeah. And because, yeah. I mean, I don't want to like, I don't want, I don't want to like upset or offend anybody, but like when Twilight came around, like that fandom really annoyed me. Um, <laughs> Hold <and> on. <laughs> And we, I know that a lot of people cross over. Their own, a lot of people cross over from Harry Potter to Twilight, and that's fine. But there were also new people that like just liked Twilight, and those people that were like crazy about the Twilight fandom just annoyed me. And I don't. I, I liked on. it. I read the book. That's I a pepper it. and no, an no, opinion. No. But you know, <laughs> you know what really annoys me though is like I read. I've read all of those books. I've read all. Of, clearly, I've read yeah, all same. the Harry Potter books. Yeah. It just annoys me when people don't read the books and then they go see the movie and then I they're like that, shocked at what happens. Yeah. Like. That's that what bothers what me. Like, like when she it, kissed Jacob people, and everyone was freaking out. They were I was like, like if you read the then, book, you'd know it. Yeah. And then like the whole team Jacob, team Edward thing. I'm like, there are no teams. It is just Edward. Just yeah. read the books. Yeah. I think I that's what annoyed me. Sorry. <laughs> we're talking about what we like. I went on a little rant. <laughs> but like, I Our agree. Favorite this, things. I love that like, if it wasn't for Harry Potter, I don't think any of us would be super close. Like, that's what, not the cement that holds us together because we're all good friends, but um that's what brought us together was Ooh, harry like potter and if question. it wasn't for that like yeah. we would just be we can't see it. four losers oh, talking to each other <laughs> i'm not a loser yeah she is <laughs> what would you change about the movies make them longer, longer. Mm-hmm. i want everything <laughs> and yeah. peeves yes yeah oh and change crop yeah, oh, yeah it's kind of bad and i changed the fifth one only to be more i'd want more of what's no. in the books no i like here's the thing <laughs> 
<laughs> you even said when you watched it back after reading it, there's so much that they cut out. Like I want and whole battle. They I want out. those Marauder scenes where like they're drawn yes. out. I want to see like what actually happens instead of like little snippets of kind of like visions of like oh you can't see my hands but i'm going like this <laughs> like that i want to see that so bad and i was so looking forward to that because it's my favorite book and the movie just let me down a little bit it's beautiful i don't disagree with you on that i just yeah, it's my want it to be long content i want more wise, it's bad but visually it's beautiful yeah 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 i agree what's another question i like got? this question from beatrice Beatrice. What would be your favorite mode of wizarding transport? And what would your wizarding career be? We went over that already. But the, Broom. the mode of transport. Broom. I'd like to fly in a vacuum. That's <laughs> not. No. <laughs> I would say apparate. Yeah. Because I, me and Meg, because we travel a lot. I think constantly, I'm just like, I wish I could just be there. Yeah. I like it brooms. Would not waste time. But I wonder, like, what's the difference? Like, I wonder how you feel apparating versus um, I feel like I get motion porting. sick. So I almost said podcast. I would vomit. Yeah, but because I feel Harry like he hates it, and he says he'd rather fly everywhere. Yeah, mm. me and Harry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But I wonder, like, what how you feel with the port key versus apparating? Like, which one's worse? Doesn't don't with the port key I you feel like a tug from your like belly button area? Evil. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I don't want. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's go to a question from here. Okay. Okay. What would your amortentia smell like? Marty. Oh, God. <laughs> but it AKA can be multiple nasty. Things. I don't like, know. Like Hermione's is parchment and fresh mown grass and toothpaste. Okay, ready? Spin hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Spin can it. we say, what do you think everybody else's would smell like? Oh, Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's would smell like Taylor Swift. <laughs> You're not wrong. Katie's would smell like her cats. I was just going to say warm fur. <laughs> That was going to be one of mine. Warm teddy fur. Sunshine fur. With Sunshine kitty fur. That's what we call it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can they say? Because whenever they they're sitting in the, in the sun? sunshine and it yeah. makes them all warm, they have a specific smell to them. And it's very comforting. Yeah, and what's like wrong it. with those? It's so embarrassing that like, I'm a dog person. I, I don't like understand. Sausage. Like, people are like, oh, it's a thing with Sarah. She loves sausage. <laughs> I won't lie. I made are Irish sausage here? for our feast. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They're probably if they are. They're probably, probably sitting upstairs. Yeah. Um, or in their like, car being lame. I mine would also smell like pot roast. Oh um, yeah. And so this is kind of strange. So I grew up in the middle of nowhere, and we had like gardens. Marty will say it's a farm. It's not a farm. He's a city kid, so he doesn't understand. Whoa. So we had gardens, and every time I get tomatoes on the vine, Ooh, yeah. I will oh, yes. smell them. And it smells like the house I grew up in. And it kind of makes me want to cry. But they I have candles that smell them. like tomatoes. Oh, my God. Are so they some of the best like smelling candles? Smell like home. Or like also, my mom. The <laughs> smell of the fireside candle from Bath and Body Works. Do I have that? And coffee. So. Ooh, oh, coffee. coffee's a good smell. Yeah. But coffee. like fresh ground coffee beans, mm -hmm. not brewed coffee, mm -hmm. like fresh coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh. I like the smell of a good fire. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like a bonfire. Mm -hmm. Or like in... Fireplace mm -hmm. yes. like a real fire Thank like you. burning wood which sounds kind of weird you're on fire what's your opinion on house elves i think it sucks Free use them, them. No, i think that every house elf should be like dobby they can choose to work because yeah. they like it yeah. but they also get paid right i agree make them happy. free the elves spew 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 s p e w <laughs> spew Blah! I'll spew for you guys. Did you see? <laughs> oh, what do you think of the name Albus Severus? It's awful. I don't, I don't hate it. Hold on, can we just say J.K. It. Rowling even said the reason why he didn't use Remus's name and any of his kids' names was because he left it for Teddy to yeah. use. I respect that. I do too. But at the same time, can you please not name your kid Albus Severus? Albus, I, I'm okay with. Yeah, but I don't hate I'm it. I'm not a fan. Like, James Sirius, like, the kid has oh, a great name. Yes. I love, in general, love the name James. Um, mm -hmm. But Elvis Severus, man, I'm just not a fan. Tell us your okay opinions. With it. And your peppers. Yeah, peppers and opinions, please. <laughs> Do they them. know what that is from, or is that just an inside joke for us, and it's really... But, like, I, I, I think it's even... an inside joke for us, sorry. <laughs> so, the, we have a group text message going. Which is insane. Yeah. Sometimes it gets up to, like, 60 messages before well, you look more. at your and phone. And a lot of the time, I'd say half the time, it's really these two, the married couple, texting each other in and the group. And we're sitting next to each other, but, like, we're texting in the group. But so, I was at Tiffany's house, and we were talking about something, and I think I was asking about, like, their opinions. I think, no... 
I don't remember, but like, instead of saying like, I want your like opinions on this, it auto corrected to peppers and opinions. And so <laughs> Tiffany and I were like crying. We were laughing so hard. <laughs> And so, like, it became a thing that, like, oh, we don't want just your opinions. We mm-hmm. want your peppers and opinions. Mm-hmm. We have another question that Katie likes. Okay. okay. We'll just Hannah oh, we'll wants to know, have you ever read any fan fictions and who is your one true pairing? Do I have to answer this? Yeah. I'll answer that if I've read fan list- fiction. If you listen to Second Breakfast, we've read yeah. fan fiction. Listen to that. Honestly, funny, guys. though, um that's the only Harry Potter fan fiction and I clearly haven't read the whole thing that I've ever read. Really? She's not I'm like not us. into that. But <laughs> long, long time ago, um, I read a Zelda fan fiction and I didn't even know that's what I was reading. I was like, somebody wrote this. I didn't know it was called fan fiction. I just thought it was really cool. So I'm not the fan fiction type. Who's your one true pairing? What? What does that mean? It means like, what? Do who do you who ship? Do you ship? It could be anybody. It doesn't have to be like me. you know when the movies or when the books were coming out. Like uh, I really wanted Ron and Hermione to be together, so I was like, yeah, "Oh, but Romani. you could you could also say that your one true pairing is go ahead, Remus and Lily. Yeah, like that's what it you doesn't mean. have to be real. Yeah, so it people can't... write fan fiction about this, right? I will say so. Like a lot of people write <laughs> a lot of people write Snape and Hermione. Yes, yeah. <laughs> no, a lot. That's gross. A lot, pe- a lot of people write Draco and Harry. Mm-hmm. Really? That's probably the number that's, one that's oh, really written about. Also, Remus and Sirius. Oh, yeah. Remus and does Sirius that. is everywhere. Like, to the point where J.K. Rowling was like, they weren't gay together. Like, you're going <laughs> to have to get over it. Like, they were both straight men. Remus married Tonks. Like, okay. Sirius died. Like, they're not All right, together. are you ready? Wormtail and Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? No, I don't know. Uh, I Honestly... Uh, Hermione and Ron. You like, would probably there's fan fiction out there. Oh, there's a lot. Uh, Actually, I that was gonna be that was that's what I. Why was does it all say. have? Is it all dirty? No. no, no. God, no, is there like no, regular no. stuff? Or yeah, no, no. Be, there's like, can, there's like, tons. Everything. You can go like I used to go on fanfiction.net, and you can pick which rating you want. So yeah. it goes all the way to some serious <laughs> stuff. Triple you know, X, like and you know, people just writing stories. Yeah. Yeah. But um, there was this one fan fiction that was around in Hermione that I read religiously. Wait, was that the big high school? Do you remember? Did, yes, was I that the one you printed? Print it. <laughs> like a million pages. I, it was a good story. No, no, but I can't not remember what it's called. I, I tried to find either. it online, and it's oh, it's so disappointing because I want to read it. I mean, again, it was. It was so good. I li- I will say this. I do read it every day, actually. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, it's but been a while since I've read some, but I love with, reading. With that story that. Um, Megan's talking about. I remember. I like ones that are really, really like an actual like story, like chapters like and long. chapters and chapters. And it was a good one. It was Ron and Hermione, and it was like thirty plus chapters. It was I remember like about. It was about how Hermione was trying to figure out a way to, um, to get around Avada Kedavra, basically. So I don't if you got it. hit with Avada Kedavra, she could do. Like, she was trying to figure out a way to, like, still keep you alive. And she figured it out with Ron. And, like, that was kind of, like, part of the story was he gets hit with it one time and then she saves him. And then and they it, love Oh, my God. And it was so good. It was I a good story. I cannot remember what it's called. And it's really sad because I've tried to look yeah. it up. Someone a find times. it for and us. Then somebody <laughs> find it. Yeah, I do remember her. It was her. so good. And it was written a really long time <laughs> ago. Like, we were in high school. So, like, <laughs> yeah, 10 years ago. Uh, yeah. She was printing it out, like, where we had, I like. I tried to print it out. So I Dean and Seamus. Yeah. I will say, you know what? I was going to say, Jessica, I read Draco and Hermione. Draco, Draco Hermione. Hermione. But at the same time, they're not my, like, OTP. Like, I, when I'm reading the books, I love Ron, and I love Ron and Hermione together. James. I just like reading them together. Leah says Dean. Oh, you said Dean and Seamus. Yeah. yeah the show, show and, and Harry. Harry. Yeah, Legend of Zelda. Harry was pregnant. <laughs> Harry was pregnant. <laughs> no, yeah. they have it. It's like, yeah. M, M oh. Preg. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't judge anybody. You read whatever you want to read. Yeah. Um, Anne Marie snowballed on that question and asked if we've written any fan fiction. Yeah. I have. Katie has. Uh, I won't tell you where to find Katie, it because because we're gonna we we're might gonna read do it to something. You. Yeah. I won't let. Um, I have written some way back in high school really? with, with Gabby. Do you remember Katie, that? <laughs> yeah. Katie enjoys Marauders fan fiction, so she wrote some Marauders fan fiction, and it's great. I have oh, none. <laughs> But you know what? And yeah, my name read it. is one true pairing is Remus and Lily forever and ever. <laughs> I want them to date. Did even you guys? Though they're both well, dead. they're dead. <laughs> Wait, did you guys ever hear the story? This one guy, and apparently it's a true story. I was reading this on BuzzFeed that this guy was reading the books online or something, and he 
stumbled upon yes! what we thought was like yes! like the fourth book or something. Yes. Oh, yeah. But it was really like this fan fiction where like <laughs> all this crazy stuff happens. People are dying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, people gosh. are dying. People are having sex with each other. And this girl at first thought it was a joke and then he was completely serious and she was like, No. Not, that's He's not like, one of the books. Wait. You mean blah 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 doesn't happen? This doesn't happen. Like, no. What about this? And like, like I want to. I wish I had it pulled up because it was so Luna. funny. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's an interesting Hermione one. And Hermione and Ginny. And Ginny. Oh yeah, that's do a you good think one. Dumbledore. Oh, Brooke Ann wants to know. Do you think Dumbledore was a bad guy? No, I don't, I think it's kind of alluded. No. Um, to a point. Maybe I, think, but I would say this. I think he did some shady stuff. I'm he a Dumbledore lover, so I really I've go, decided on that. I really go back and forth with him, and you know, obviously. His motto with Grindelwald back in the day was for the greater good, and that was bad then, but he also used it for good, like legitimate good. Um, so he's just kind of an all over the place type of character, right? I mean, he does bad things, but they're for a good reason. And did he use Harry? Yeah, absolutely, he used Harry. And I think in the upcoming Fantastic Beast movie, he's gonna use Newt. Um, I can't wait for that, I, know. I cannot I wait because they're so this is. But, they're just so cute. I like to watch them. Here's the I, thing. I just go back and forth on him a lot. You, so. I agree. You can, you can love him. You can hate him. You can have mixed feelings about him. You're yeah. entitled to all of that. But the, the, at the end of the day, he it's, saved about, it's about fate. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what happened was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And he did whatever he had to do to make, or, you know, make well, it happen. I was thinking about this. In the beginning, when he was guiding Harry, I think that he really did believe that Harry was going to have to die, like, for good, for real. Mm -hmm. But once it got later, he realized that that wouldn't have to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that he was obviously glad that he discovered that, that he wasn't going to have to die. And he he made sure that that happened, you know? Yep. I mean, he made sure Harry didn't have to really die. Yep. Yeah. So it's and, and we'll have an episode all I about think, it. I think that's like one thing that like there's a lot of people again like Tiffany said love him. Some people hate him. Some people have mixed feelings. I'm one of those people that there's times where I'm like he's such a great guy, and there's times where I'm like I can't believe you would do that. But at the yeah. same time, like he's been from that mentality where for the greater good, and that can be that could be led into a good thing. That can be led into a bad thing. Where like right. if you're unfortunately like like the beginning with Harry. If I have to sacrifice one person to save thousands or millions or whatever, then right. so be it. And like, like, and he knew that Harry was the type of person that would sacrifice himself. He yeah, had that yeah. in him. Mm -hmm. And I think Lily's sacrifice, mm -hmm. obviously that stuck with him. And you think like subconsciously, maybe Harry knew that he was going to have, I mean, well, he was going to have to do what Lily did. I agree. And I think he full on realized that in the end, but I think like it may have been something that was underlying the entire time. Every time you see in the first book when he's like going to, he's giving get himself and he's like, for everyone, he's literally right. telling Ron and Hermione, like, why are you coming with me? I don't want you to like, if anything happens, like you just hurt. me, like just right. me. And he does that mm -hmm. really throughout the entire books until the very end. And like, Dumbledore yeah. knew that he was going to do that. I mean, yeah. uh, we, we got to like, pause on that we will have an episode all about dumbledore oh yeah for oh sure. um if not many <laughs> yeah well yeah i like this question from beverly okay you can only go to hogwarts for one holiday which Ooh. do you choose oh christmas. My God. what christmas but halloween is cool too no christmas it's my favorite holiday i would choose christmas but i was just being devil's advocate <laughs> Nothing's Christmas, wrong with Halloween. Sure. I love I mean, Halloween. I and like, if I went to Hogwarts, I would want to stay over Christmas. Oh yeah, That'd but be it so would be magical. hard because, like, family. But oh, I don't care about my family. Hogwarts, Christmas. At Hogwarts. I, I love Halloween, but I'd have to pick Christmas because I, I love yeah. in the first book that we just went over that it's whole so day magical. for Harry, where they had like a snowball mm -hmm. fight on the grounds and they had all I the imagine food. that Hogwarts Sounds would so look fun. beautiful too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go Christmas as well. See, my family is already there then. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Here's another one from Hannah that's good. What qualities do you think that you have that make you the house that you are? <laughs> I don't think I will say this. I'm a Ravenclaw. I don't think I'm that smart. So witty. Aren't they witty? Am I she, witty? What do you have to understand about Sarah is she doesn't realize how amazing she I'm is. I'm not that so. amazing. So and she is actually Sarah, very bright. Sarah so. is very witty. I will she say, I think that I have qualities from every house because we took we took that quiz. She's that's also like, very slither. All of oh, I am because I can be a, a biatch. Um, <laughs> but like when I took that quiz, it like gives you like the percentage what is that of all of them. To mean? Nope, don't say I'm it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, Slytherins are 
I'm, I will say this. I'm, I can be very manipulative when I want to get my way. Mine's making me really sweaty. But so I, I can see qualities of every house in me. But I don't think I'm that woody either. So. You're, you're a good like, Ravenclaw, but you're also a good Slytherin. I feel like if I, I would be like that kid that they'd ask me like the, um, the song. riddle and I would be like, I don't, I don't know. I'll just wait for someone else to answer it. Like, is the um, answer two? <laughs> I think, I mean, Tiffany's a thousand percent a Gryffindor. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of an example without sounding like a jerk. And like, pompous. you're just no, like, she's, she's just very like, she'll stand up for people. Yeah. I guess yeah. chivalry is one yeah. of the most, like I'm an advocate for oh, people. Um, thousand percent. uh, especially with my students. Like I'll, I mean, I, you stand up for people who need it. And, um, the ones that are weaker than you or the ones that maybe don't feel like they can do it themselves. Like I'm there. So, and yeah. she said ever so humbly. No, honestly, like, <laughs> she's, she's one of those people like she'll fight tooth and nail. You know what I mean? Like she's a good, you're a good egg. And I'm a little crazy, which I think, <laughs> well, shout out to Griffin. Was, I, whether you like it or not, are. we're all a little nuts, but I'm crazy. also like, I know that Ravenclaw was my second highest percentage and then I think it was Hufflepuff, and then it was Slytherin. But I feel like I'm really, really loyal as well, and I think oh, that's a quality. That's a yeah, yeah. That it's my have. Well, Hufflepuff's my second house, and like thinking about it, because as much as like I can see myself as a Slytherin, Slytherin is your like, second house. I, mm -hmm. I like I <laughs> will cut you. Like if you hurt my friends, you hurt my family. Like I will be like the first person. Like no, like I'm so you. loyal. Like I will cut you. Like, as much as like you know, I have my friends back. Like I, you need me to do anything. Like you can call me in the middle, and I, I always tell people, call me twice. If you call me twice, I know there's an emergency. Like I will be out the door. Like I'm so loyal. Like that's one of those things where like don't talk about my friends because I hurt you. I, I guess that, that also makes me a Slytherin. <laughs> they all they all blend together. Yeah. It's just like the tiny little bits. You know, it is about that make you what whatever house you value. Value. Mm -hmm. Katie is epically loyal. Oh, You're not going to find a better is, person than Katie. Katie is epically Hufflepuff. Yeah. But she in is. the best like, ways. She like, cares I, about people so I much. I will put, yeah. again, I don't want to sound like. You're not. I put other people before myself. She does. All the time. Yep. And I try to please everyone. So before myself. She's a people pleaser. Yeah. So oh my. Before, I don't even know what I'm trying to say now. You should be I would a Katie like, pleaser too, Katie, because you're great. I would say that, like, when you say what what you um admire most, like about like the houses, like that's what you are. I would completely agree with it. Like, I not that I admire like being smart. Like, that's the thing I bring up the most when like people are talking incorrectly, which I have an issue anyways with myself talking incorrectly. But I'm like, you're wrong. That's not how you say it. Like, I we am, each would do that. I would say. You know, I'm with our own just houses. a Slytherin. <laughs> I don't. I mean. I'm yeah. ambitious. I think that's probably the yes. one thing that comes out the most in like the mm -hmm. Slytherin qualities in me. Mm -hmm. I mean, like with this podcast, like I take on way too much stuff, but like I just like to do it and I just yeah. want to do it. So when you yeah. get it in your head that you want to do something, no matter oh, go, what it is, it could be yeah. small, it could be huge. You mm -hmm. go hardcore at it. it and she gets it. Yeah. Yeah. And, I'll yeah even, and you get it. I'll even say with this podcast, because there's four of us, like we'll have an idea. And I would say out of the four of us, Megan and I are like, all right, we're going to do that. And we're going to do this, 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 this. <laughs> Like we're gonna just run with it and yeah. go, and, and then, then there's me who's like, "Well, okay," <laughs> well, and I'm like, like "Slow these, down." These okay. are like, um, well, you know, so honestly, <laughs> we're like, doing having, all these other things. Having like one of each of the houses in the podcast works, like not just in our discussions for the podcast, but like it works behind the scenes really yeah. well. Yeah, too. we balance. And it was a total accident. Yeah. It, yeah. It's not like we were like, okay, well, I have to be a Hufflepuff because we need one. No. Yeah. yeah. No, it just is. We, I honestly thought it was going to be Slytherin. Yeah. But yeah. but we truly, I think. We truly are. We truly houses. are our houses. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is I don't cool agree question. with mine, but that's okay. <laughs> we think that you are. So. Fine. Nikki says, does religion have a place in the wizarding world? And I think that's interesting because J.K. Rowling doesn't really bring it up at all. But I think that well, it's to keep her books... Um, what is the word? Bipartisan, I guess, right? Is I, right? I do love that instead of like, thank God, they'll say thank Merlin. Yeah. Like, I love oh, yeah. that. But well, she like, also has said that there are um, Jewish students in the school. 
Well, and who is it? Anthony Goldstein is uh, most of to those are like Christian student. holidays, anyways. Well, yeah, they, like yeah. have a week off for Easter and everything. Yeah, yeah. But even in her own writing, she has a lot of like biblical things. Oh, the trio. Yeah, Harry's yeah. Harry sacrificing himself like, for everybody stuff, else. So. Um, I mean, I think her writing alludes a lot to uh what I've drawn since I'm a Christian, so Christianity. But mm -hmm. also, I guess with even though she doesn't bring it up, I think that they have religion. I mean, there's an afterlife, right? Um. Yeah, like the whole thing with him seeing Dumbledore yeah. and the platform, and it's all white everywhere. And so, whether or not you believe, like you believe that the Wizarding World has like a god, since it's not mentioned, there yeah. is an after. There's something else. Yeah, there's something there. So, if you want to take that as a religion, sure. Yeah. I liked that question. Yeah, yeah. it's a good one. Yeah. Um, Plus, especially because the Wizarding World spans across the Muggle world because of Muggleborns and stuff. So, Correct. if nothing else, right. there could be Muggleborns who are Catholic or Jewish or whatever. No, like, who would I bring wonder, that to the yeah, world. Do they like? Hell. I don't know if anyone else is Catholic. We were supposed. To, we are supposed to go to church every Sunday. I wonder if they do. Like, do they allow? I that? don't know. Like, I wonder if they offer something. Do you think James and Lily church. went to the little church down the street? Yeah, like, I wonder. I don't know. They're buried there. there. Yeah. So I don't know. Not that I. I don't think they wouldn't allow their bodies to be buried there, but. Do you, th do you think that wizard graves there are not seen by uh, muggles? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. No, but I don't know. I bet you they would still be seen, but maybe less magical. I don't know. What? <laughs> like, maybe like there's... You could put, like, like you could, some grand thing like, there, but a muggle wouldn't see it. Like, yeah. Oh, like, like a when stone you go up, well, or like, like a marker? you go up to the house and you see the sign yeah. Yeah, you're right. versus when a muggle goes up and just sees whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. I got you. Another question. Do you, do you, Winona wants to know, did you have an idea or suspect that Harry was a Horcrux before it was revealed? No. No. I don't I'm not so. good with that. I'm not way. either, honestly. I, I, not. I get the biggest surprise from the dumb The stuff. only thing that I was correct in thinking was that Snape was going to be good. See, and I was going to say, when all these people were going online back uh, after Six was out, and they were like, uh, Dumbledore asked to be killed, Snape, Snape obliged him, I was like, Y'all are wrong. Snape is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I yeah, so I'm like not. Him. No, I did not think that. Can I just shout out Anne Marie because she shouted out Ravenclaw because they're the coolest. I also want to say <laughs> Hannah. Hannah said here in the UK, Halloween isn't a special day. If it's on a school day, you don't get the day off. You don't get the day off. We don't either. No, I wish. Oh my I god. I will say, which is wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I can't say for all of America, but I live in Cleveland, and we are very Irish. We get St. Patrick's Day off if it's during the year. Specifically, like high school and middle school, and then some colleges, depending on where, like downtown Cleveland. St. Patrick's Day always during the year. This is no <laughs> during like the week. During the week, <laughs> um, a really so good that's question. awesome. The one year in grade school, they didn't have like they had school, and my dad didn't know because we would go down to the parade every year to see it because Cleveland. Cleveland's parade for St. Patrick's Day is one of the biggest in the, the United States. It's um, crazy if you've ever been to Oh my God, it's been so gone. good. I almost got crushed. It's so good. Well, that's because you went on a Saturday and it was very it was nice warm. out. It was a very unusual day. But so the one year in day. grade school, we had school. Um, and my dad didn't know if he was going to take us, my sister and I, out of school that day um, until, like, the next one. He's like, yeah, you're not going to school. And so, like, when we came back, like, on the 18th, this kid was like, yeah, there was, like, five people in class. So, like, the school was like, yeah, we just won't have it because there's so many Irish people where I live. Um, yeah, and if you know where, I will, fun fact, Sorry, if you know where honest. Ackle is, Ackle Island in um, County Mayo in Ireland, their sister cities or something like that with Cleveland because there's so many people from Ackle. That's shout where some out. of my family's from. This Wait, is a really can good I, question. Can I give a shout out to yeah. all the puff shout outs that are coming on yeah, this little feed here Ugh. hufflepuff Badge of pride. um evie evie <laughs> wants to know if you could go to hogwarts with the marauders the golden yes. trio or the next generation which would you choose marauders, marauders. how good of a question is that that's I really good trio i would say the trio no trio no, i'd rather be with serious you can't then. tell people no about what they want to <laughs> so we much is going it. on <laughs> I just think because, like, I recognize and know the characters more, I mean, it would be interesting. No. I guess if you go with the next generation, there's not going to be a war, as far as we know. If But if you go with either of the other yeah, generations, there's a the wizarding war going on. Say, but I'd rather, I want to be with Sirius. But wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Do you want to be with teenage <laughs> Remus and Sirius? Or adult oh, any, Sirius? any, I would exactly. be with Sirius I throughout think the whole Sirius thing. would be sweet on Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only if he's got a thing what for What else do we have going on? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, I, I can like see Francis. Francis. What does and, the Tiff thing say? Anne Marie 
Oh, I don't know where. Tip is so driven. That's what Nikki oh. said. <laughs> oh, thanks. Anne Marie no. says, perhaps off topic, <laughs> but what were your other favorite books or book series growing up apart from Harry Potter? I honestly, I like Twilight ish. Like, like it was I horrible. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm oh, actually a loved the big, Games. big, big fan of Stephen King. I read a lot of Stephen King in high school, so I've never no. read one of his. books. Gosh, so good. I like I'm Sarah. You know who like, I like? Really trying to think besides the Hunger Games. I love. I read and I don't. Red Sarah, Wall. Um, I love Red an Wall author series. called Sarah Dessen loved and <sighs> read almost all of her books. If you ever watched. Love Sarah Dessen. I forget what the sure movie's right. called. I need to look it up. It has um, Mandy Moore in it, and it's a combination of Walk two of her books. Oh, I no, don't no, read. No, Walk to Remember is... Um, that's not... That's is, Nicholas Sparks, yep, sorry. Yep. I don't read sappy No, it was just like teenager books. I really liked the Shopaholic series, but... Oh, my oh, sister I love those. the Shopaholic series. That one is... I don't know that oh, one. It's so really good. good. There's so many of them, too, so... I'm just loving up with the movie. It's hilarious. I see and snake emojis. I'm just in. saying the movie that they made for Shopaholic was terrible. The uh-huh. book series. So Usually. I don't think I saw uh, the movie. Who's yeah, laughing at what? Someone's angry. There's a lot of things Uh-oh, happening right now. Oh, did somebody not like the Shopaholic series? I don't know what's <laughs> happening. We're like way Sorry, we're, we're like off. reading the comments that are. We're going to have to do another one of these because we just hit an hour. Yeah, I'm we'll okay do with doing another one of these. We'll do another one fun. another time. I'm just trying to hear We're reading this. comments. Michigan Sorry, guys. Oh. does not get St. Patty's Day off. Well, oh, go sorry. Buckeyes. <laughs> well, that's because you live sorry. in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> did sorry, did yeah. Ohio State just one? beat them? What? Did we just win in the big house? Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Could, um, I love you guys. <laughs> if you could save one character and oh, have on. one character not be saved, which two would you choose? Can I just say one thing? Ooh, that's, well, that's my catchphrase, can I say? The movie um, is called How to Deal. It has Mandy Moore in it. And, oh, I loved that um, movie. So it's based on two of Sarah Dessen's books. The books are better, but the movie's still alright. I loved that movie. Um, so, okay, so the character that you would save and character you would not save. I'd save Sirius. Remus. I would save Remus. Remus. I would oh. save Remus. Uh, who, and then we have to kill somebody? One of these I things. would not save okay. Snape. No. <laughs> But we have to kill someone saved. else? Yeah, no, somebody who died that you wouldn't save. Serious. Oh. I don't care who about I him. Would not save? I mean, Severus. I said Sirius is like, I would save him. I like, you Severus, save I don't care Sirius? about. He can leave. Uh, this is going to sound horrible, Colin. Oh, yeah, I don't care about him. Sorry. I mean, I'm going to jump actually the first him. one I thought of. Sorry, I'm not sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's right. What else do we got going on? Should we wrap up? I really we, Yeah, we got to eat. Do you yeah. think there is higher education for wizards or just the job training? Yeah. I think job training. I like, well, I do know that, like, if you want to become an or, there's, like, intense training it's like after a, that. A couple yeah. So I think that maybe there's not, like, a university per se, Ooh. but, again, Ooh. attached to your job or whatever you want to do, there's probably more training. Look at Emma says. She goes, would be nice to meet the trio, but a little more convert to you, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. What about, like, if you wanted to become a healer? I mean, that's, like medical training right so you'd probably have to go yeah but something. like is it medical training or is it like here's some spells that you No, know I, mean? I mean i, I think know. there's epic training i think there is training i don't think like i think if you look if you look at a path of like an actual doctor versus like a medical like a healer in the magical world it would be completely different because like the the um non-magical the muggle doctors have to like do surgery and like learn your anatomy and honestly that's only 80 percent of people have like the correct anatomy that you learn in books so like they had to like learn all of that other stuff like spells and stuff because they're like oh we'll just do wiggity wham and you're wiggity wham, wham. Um, you don't know. i'm noticing that i look evil she is sometimes i'm trying to read the screen so <laughs> i'm sorry if you think i look angry can i say that we look like- no i'm just saying it I'm, oh. i looked at myself and i'm like oh you look mad wait, wait, wait. have you noticed that we look like that old at&t commercial with like the thing going like that with like the the bars going down oh, <laughs> oh yeah we are in no order. throwback <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I um, Eliza said something about the book thief. I do have that. I haven't started reading it yet. Oh yeah, I, I wanted to read, to read that. that. Is it looks good. I think so. Yes. Here's the problem. I love books. I buy books all the time, but I always just read Harry Potter. <laughs> Every time. I end up reading other things. Yeah. That, Sometimes. Yeah. But, or like mm-hmm. you know. Huh. Cool beans. So yeah, I don't know. I think that that's about it for today. Yep. 
because we have to go and eat our Christmas feast and then come back to you guys for our uh, live movie commentary. Yeah. So, so we'll be live again. Listen to us recite the entire movie because no, that's what we that's, do. This is a, listen, <laughs> no. Know. This is a commentary, not a quote. Well, <laughs> Sarah, I'm talking to Sarah and role. Megan. <laughs> so um, thank you guys for joining. This was fun. This was a lot I of fun. It. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, we really appreciate every single question. Yep. You guys think are really good ones. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. And I saw Beverly say it's so hard not to overload them with comments. Just it, don't oh. feel bad. No, just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Geez, just do so it. We love when it. When is the live commentary? It is scheduled for. Um, <laughs> it's scheduled for 2.30. It's probably going to be at 3, though. But it will make we are a running a little. We're running we'll a little behind. But we'll let, you, we'll let you know for yeah. sure. And it's going to be by three if I'm you hoping. miss it yeah. though it's gonna i mean you can watch we're gonna the video keep it anytime. yeah like we're gonna keep this video for you guys to we'll be like all right hit and play now <laughs> yeah yep and you can watch it with us so yeah thank you guys um and we'll see you in a bit don't we let the muggles you. get you down